Hello everybody, it's your favorite couple, the Hubbards. Hi guys. And we're back. I know we've been absent. Long time. For a very, very long time. We saw. Uh, but we're back now. Yeah, we're back now and you know life has a way of coming in and we were prepared to do some episodes. We even sat down and got ready to do an episode with the kids. Camera wouldn't work right and we just, you know. But we got a lot to talk about so we'll be tuning in with you guys. Quite a bit. Yeah, we'll be coming back quite a bit with some episodes. Um, just, just everybody's doing fine. Everybody's mm -hmm. doing fine. We're not doing that well because uh, Abigail wanted us to have a talk with her. The talk. Yeah, the, the, talk. the talk. So we had that. We yeah. survived. Yeah, we survived. We'll tell y'all about that one too. Yeah. So that that'll be something we can tell y'all about too. <laughs> but we're back today with episode five, and it's only fitting that since today is Thanksgiving Day, it's entitled "Be Ye Thankful." Be ye thankful. It's um, it's one of those things that we pay a lot of attention to on the day of Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. But we all know that in the course of our day-to-day -day lives that we tend to take each other for granted uh, because we get in those habits and routines of this just what he does, that's just what she does, that's what they do. And we just don't recognize um, our blessings and the things that we should be grateful for in our day-to-day -day lives with our families yeah and and not recognizing your blessing can can put a damper on your relationship it, it can cause you not to realize exactly what you have whether it's your relationship with your spouse your or relationship your children, with your children extended family or whoever it might be and so every now and then every day actually take time out to just be thankful you so know? how can we do that first we can speak gratitude Lord. <laughs> And sometimes a simple <laughs> thank you goes a long way, and we don't always remember to do that. Um, we were actually talking about that this morning. Every morning, he makes my coffee for me. But I don't even remember if I say thank you, because that's just what he... Sometimes I do. Yeah, you do. You do. <laughs> but that's just what he does, and I don't always say thank you. But in a way that... I'm being ungrateful. I'm just not even showing him the smallest amount of gratitude with a simple thank you. And that, that can do something to a person when you don't say thank you. It can almost make it feel like, are you worth it? Um, do you value me? Do you even consider me? What would happen if I wasn't here? And I know it's just coffee, you know, um, just going there, putting coffee pot in the machine, turn it on, fit, you know, but, but it's the point of actually doing something and the, the the doing to you is like one of those things like for you is you know, I was trying to say thank you. You are thank you for correcting me. <laughs> but it is it's this is my service to you. This is what I'm doing for you. And it's not one thing I'm gonna hold your head, I gotta do it because I don't have to do it. She's more than capable of fixing her own coffee. I am, but I don't want to. Right? But as and a I relationship do the dishes. And you do that for me. Oh. And I appreciate you. I thank you. See, that's all it takes, <laughs> just to thank you. Because it's, it's it's a whole lot that you could do and that or you want to do, right? <laughs> and it's whatever you do, you're expecting some form of gratitude just, just to say thank you. And believe it or not, that even goes a long kids. way. Yeah, even, even with the little real rats. Because a lot of times as parents, we don't um, thank our children for the things that they do. Um, it's a blessing if you got a child that goes to school every day and the teacher not calling you every day. Thank you for behaving yourself at school. Right. <laughs> Thank you for getting up when I called your name after 12 times mm -hmm. with our kids because for some reason they don't like to get up in the morning. Thank you for eating the dinner that I put in front of you. Right. <laughs> just, just the small stuff. It doesn't have to be anything big and elaborate. Just just thank you. Thank yes. you. But for Brian, we, we tell him thank you that he didn't get put as he called it, the, the stinking, stinking chair, chair. <laughs> or he didn't get put in time out. He's At trying school, to say thinking so chair, yeah. He, so. He's working hard, so we tell him yeah, thank just you. Just thank you for the small yes. stuff. Yes, and it, it goes a long way. Because um, that boy loves to talk. Ooh. He get that from his mama, though. Oh, my gosh. But know that sometimes when we speak that thank you, we expect... That big smile and that grin and that you're welcome in return. Mm -hmm. And that might not always happen. No, because if you don't always say thank you <laughs> and your spouse or your child or whoever does something for you, 
and you finally decide, you know what, I hadn't said thank you in a long time, so let me go ahead and say, you know, thank you. And when you tell them that, they like, mm, what you want, what you need, what you need from me. So it's going to be received that way at first. I do that to Abigail. Also. Yeah, because oh, Abigail. Yes, you know, and, and I'll say, uh, she goes, oh, I love you, mother, and I just want to tell you thank you. Girl, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm working on me. <laughs> right? Uh, right. And another aspect that we don't think about as adult children, um, still showing that appreciation and speaking those words of thanks to our parents um, because... You know, they still need to hear it too. A lot of those things that when we were growing up, we thought that they were just doing too much. They were over the top, but we learned and gained so much from that. Do we ever just say, thank you yep. for raising me to be who I am. Thank you for what you instilled in me. Thank you for being there because there's a lot of people who didn't have parents that were there. Right. And we don't speak those words. And then once they're gone, all that realization is there. But we can't speak that gratitude. So we have to remember to speak that gratitude to our parents as well as adults. And just be ready for what's wrong with you. <laughs> what you need. Who's sick. <laughs> How much trouble you in. <laughs> but, but, it, but just let them know is there something that you thought about and wanted them to hear it. Because as Brenda was saying, once they're gone, you, you can't tell them that. So go ahead and take advantage of that now. It's it's simple. Two words, thank you. Mm -hmm. Two words, thank you. We, we we teach that to our children when they're growing up. Somebody okay. gives them something. We say ta-ta, right? And if, if they don't say it, we take it back from them until they say it. So it's something that's been taught at a young age. But as we get older, we sometimes forget that it still needs to be said. Mm -hmm. People still need to hear that you appreciate them. That, that you are thankful that they're in your lives for the very smallest mm -hmm. of things. It doesn't have to be when they do something big and elaborate. For the small things, they bring you shoes. They find you some socks to wear. Um, they stir your car. Whatever it is, just, just form your mouth to say thank you. And the more you do it uh, to your significant other, to your child, it'll be received better. Mm -hmm. You can't do it today and then turn around and do it again in February. And expect them to receive it, you know. So make it a daily practice. Mm -hmm. I was going to say make it a daily day. But that don't make sense. But, but <laughs> another thing that will make speaking gratitude go a lot, a lot further is showing gratitude. Because words are one thing. Mm -hmm. Actions are something else. So we need to show gratitude. Yep. The Bible speaks about that in, in the book of 1 John. About, you know, not just saying you love a person with your mouth. Not just giving words. And, and it's not saying negate the words. The words are important. Mm -hmm. But are the actions following what the words say? And so we got to learn how to not only speak those things, but we sometimes we got to show those things as well. And you can do that with something that's just little small tokens of appreciation. Yep. Um, a note, a card, a flower here or there. Get your kid a small toy or something that they... And it doesn't have to be a small gift because you know your pocketbook. If you can do better than a small gift. It's it going to be small. It's going to be small. <laughs> don't. don't. Uh, <laughs> but don't let your show of affection or small tokens of appreciation just throw them out of the window because, oh, I can't afford that. It doesn't have to. Right. You can make something. You yeah. can write. Get a sheet of paper and just write a quick note of appreciation goes a long way those small things those small tokens slip it in the kids lunch you know just a little note of i appreciate you and i thank you for being a good kid and going to school each day and doing your best yeah don't don't let you showing gratitude become a burden to you don't make it so stressful mm -hmm. you know do what you can do if your pockets are thin don't try to go out and Spend and break the bank to get a gift to say I thank you. Go to the Dollar Tree. I mean seriously, Dollar General. Not ours though, cause ours don't have nothing in it. I mean it'd be like, never mind. We look it back. Look, uh, <laughs> I'm not saying you'd be mad though when you go in there and it's just the simple stuff you're looking for, uh, sugar or you know. But some, everybody looks for sugar. But I'm saying even before the holidays rolled around. Yeah. I'm just saying. But go go back. We ain't talking about that. Look, don't. In other words, don't don't let your pockets stop you from showing gratitude because 
if you go out of your way to do something that didn't cost money, it means that much it means more. a lot because you have to really think about it. Mm -hmm. You really have to put some put thought into it. Into right. it. And that's the, that that's showing that I care about you, that I took time out of my day to do this because I really want you to see how much I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. And that that's that's what it's about. And I, I know I've won, been slacking on that. See, that's what I'm talking about. I ain't, I ain't doing nothing. You ain't getting me. Oh, okay. But, uh, so we <laughs> but I, I would write a, a little note here and there and slip to it. I can't remember the last time I did that. I didn't read my own note. Yeah, she told me that last night. You know, I've been reading that same note you gave me. On the first day of first school. First day of school. That's just how long it's been. <laughs> but, so, but, but I'm saying, we, we ain't worried about the past. We, we talking about now. So I'm going to do better moving forward. Show her that I appreciate her, that I, that I'm thankful to her. And I've never been one on buying extravagant gifts. Mm -mm. You know. But it's the small things. And they they're thoughtful gifts. And that that's what it means so much. He, he that I can tell that he thought about me and the gift and what I would like. And that makes me feel that he appreciates me and I know that it's there. Um he doesn't like a whole lot of stuff. And I don't know how to pick out fish and stuff. So gift cards. So gifts <laughs> are not as easy for me. But what my husband does love are shows of affection yeah. to show appreciation. Yeah. The hugs. Give the me gifts. some sugar. Give me some sugar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That that that's uh, what that's what hover like right there. Yes, sir. And and, uh, and 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 spouses, if you know this what your man like, then do that for him. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Thank him in that way. Now I can't get explicit. But I'm just saying, thank him in that way. Just, I'm just well, bring it back, bring it back. I'm just, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm just saying. I, I I can't think of any man that's gonna turn down that kind of thank you. I'm just saying, and we will appreciate it very, very much. You that like, men, you agree with me, don't you? I know you do. Oh, I know my you baby do. has a one track mind. No, I don't. I'm just we talking about you. We were brought up affection. I said hugs and kisses. Okay. <laughs> and I'm telling you what else. <laughs> you appreciate it. <laughs> but it, it, it's oh. whatever. And that goes back to knowing your spouse, knowing your children, what they like. Like uh, Abigail received a, um, a, 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 no, Brenda got a text message from Abigail's teacher. And in the text message, it basically said how much she adores having Abigail in her class how she appreciate her manners, how she wished that all of her kids were like that, you know, and, and, and just went on and on and on and talking about how well Abigail behaves herself in class and how she does the work. And so what did Brent do? She went and bought Abigail an outfit, you know, and Abigail was... apparently we dress her like a baby, yeah, we, talking about her a big girl outfit. Yeah, that broke our heart when she it told us. She bust us out, though. <laughs> she she put us out there. She did. Yeah. So... We want y'all to take me shopping somewhere right. that's not Walmart. Right. <laughs> that I can get some real clothes where I look like a big girl. We were hurt. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, feeling will hurt. Pride will hurt. I almost put out the house. Go find somebody else to buy you some clothes. <laughs> but we understood where she was coming from. She was growing yeah, up. we didn't realize until she said <laughs> it that we were kind of, you know, with all the sparkly yeah. t-shirts. Yeah. She's in middle school now, so yeah, we got to do that. Yeah, so. But that's another that's another story. Yeah. But the fact is, when Brina bought that for her, it let her know, aside from us saying thank you for being, that just exemplified how much we appreciate her for behaving herself, how she's an example in her school and in her class. And so, oh, you couldn't tell her nothing. Ooh, <laughs> but get what the outfit still came from Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't tell, don't tell. <laughs> but, but. I mean, showing our children appreciation. Give them a high five. Because yeah. sometimes that's what Brian gets. Like, he gets in that car. If he had a great day, he didn't hit the thinking chair. High five. We're celebrating. Like, those things mean a lot. And sometimes yeah. if you don't get that high five, he's mad at you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get real hot. And and the same is with RJ. You know, you just got to show him. Like, I rub him on the head. Like, he come home and he he been struggling a little bit. He's been struggling a little He's bit. He's becoming more of a social butterfly. Yeah. And so that's, and again, that's the thing that we're working on. Yeah. But he, it's it's an easy fix. Mm -hmm. It's an easy fix. And when he does come home, Dad, Dad, I took an uh, exit ticket and I got this on it. Yeah, you know, good job. Thank you. You know, mm -hmm. just stuff. Pick him up in the air. Throw. But my back, I'm getting old. I can't pick him up too much, you know. I, 
I, you know, every now and then I can pick mm -hmm. him up, you know. But it's just to, to show him, hey, I appreciate you, man. Good, good job. Keep up the good work. We don't want it to go unnoticed mm -hmm. because we know that our children are out to please us as mm -hmm. much as we try to act as if no, you do it for no. They're out to please us, just like we're trying to please one another. One, uh, each other, each other, each other. one yeah. another, each other, both of us, all of us together. That's what I'm saying. But that, that's the point. To, to show that, hey, I appreciate you going that effort. I appreciate mm -hmm. you doing all that you're doing and getting the results that you're getting. Show them that. And it, it's very, it ain't got to be elaborate. Our kids slipped up and surprised us and washed dishes one day. Mm -hmm. And I thought he told them to do it. He thought I told them to do it. They did it by themselves. Imagine how grateful we were to find out they did it by themselves. Right. And I think I only had to go back and wash like three or four dishes that they didn't just get clean. <laughs> Still had a little grit on it, you but know. But the effort that nobody <laughs> had to tell them to do it. Oh, my God. The effort was there. The effort that was there. That meant everything to us. And they didn't even want anything. They and that was, that was shocking. They didn't ask us Because we were looking like, what, what, what y'all want? What, what, what right? you need? You they know. just did it. They just did it, Because right? it needed doing. Right. And and we were happy. We I mean, you would have thought they even got accepted into Harvard or uh, MIT, oh, you know, or somewhere. <laughs> they... We were so happy. We you know we were just mm. smiling like, yeah, you know, like I mean, if people have been looking at y'all children must did something wonderful. They did. They washed, they washed the dishes. dishes. <laughs> and everybody was like, what? But hey, each house has its own. So yeah. that that was ours. That, that was mm -hmm. a great. That was a big thing for and, us. And and we felt appreciating that moment because we're tired when we get home from work. Tired. Yep. Teacher tired. Yes. Teacher tired. And for all no my educators out there, real. you know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. For those of you that are not educators, you don't really understand Volunteer, that. One teacher day. tired. Jeff, one not day. saying your job don't get you tired, but it's a it's a teacher tired that we're talking about. But but anyway. Mm -hmm. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. So And that goes into our next point. Living gratitude. Our babies yep. were living gratitude that day. They expressed gratitude in just the day to day living. Mm -hmm. You know, if if we come in and we don't have to tell you pick your shoes up off the floor, we don't have to pick your shoes up off the floor. We don't have to tell you clean your room. Right. You just clean your room because you know that it needs doing. Right. That's living gratitude. Put the top on the toothpaste. I mean, <laughs> flush come the on, toilet. right? <laughs> em empty the trash. I mean, <sighs> just 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 all of that. Please don't walk in the door and just throw your backpack, right. your coat, your jacket. Put those, they have a place. Like, if we just do those small things, that's, that's gratitude, you know. My husband told me, he's like, letting me know when a car needs gas. Right. Because <laughs> I am very blessed because he will put gas in my car. I, I feel offended if I have to put gas in my own car. And she should. <laughs> and you should. But sometimes I forget to tell him, and I'm like, yep. baby, don't have no gas. And he's like, and, and, then, and then she'll tell me this at, Five o'clock in the morning, five thirty in the morning. But I'm asleep. You supposed to tell me that last night that you didn't have any gas, you know. So so live that let me know. And I don't mind doing it, you know. I gotta get up anyway. So you got you just gotta you just gotta live that that gratitude, you know. Mm -hmm. And 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 one of the things that uh, about living living the gratitude is 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 helping out. You know what I'm saying? Helping out. Now, I, I tell you, Brina tell you, people who know us know, Brina don't like to wash dishes. Mm -mm. Can't stand washing dishes. No, nope. it could be one fork in the sink. Hubbard, you gonna wash these dishes? I don't want to. <laughs> she don't wash dishes. She don't. I, I do, and I, I don't have a problem with it because one, one of the things that washing dishes does for me is, hey, we ate. That reminds me we ate. So I'm thankful to wash dishes. You know, now I'm not... Oh, I can't wait to get home. I got some dishes to wash, you know. But she cooks, I wash the dishes. That, that's just what we do, you know. But from time to time, I will step in and I do the dishes. I take one for the team. Right? She'll <laughs> wash that fork. I do one. Okay, she'll wash that spoon and that fork. I did fork. all the dishes yesterday. She'll wash that spoon and that fork and that plate. I did <laughs> nah. dishes yesterday. Yeah, you, did, you, did. you did a bowl. You did a bowl. I washed a pot too. See, see what I'm saying, that, and, and I appreciate her. For that. <laughs> Big dishes, I did. Yeah, she dishes. she she handled her business though on the dishes yesterday. Yep, mm -hmm. she did, and I was able to sit down and 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 play my video game, and I play went out play out in the yard with the boys for a minute till I got old. <laughs> Realized how old I was trying to throw a football with them and tackle them, and you know, but but it 
it, it living that gratitude, stepping and, in. And and again, for us adults, stepping in with our parents. How often do we just go over? What do you need done? What can I do? Mm -hmm. I'm terrible at this. Me too. I am terrible at this. And I gotta do better. And no matter how many times, can you show me how to do this on the cell phone? <laughs> they, they can ask you that. <laughs> And no, they're going to ask you again. But be thankful <laughs> that you can step in and help them with that cell yeah. phone and the remote. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, and, but, you know, just those small things, you know. And if your parents are up in age or have health problems, how often are you just popping in, maybe making a meal, just showing up? You yeah. Know? And again... Working on me, but yeah. and, it, and, 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 and it's in this things where you you know as you get older, as you live, you realize there are things you just got to start doing, mm -hmm. and just start doing them. That that's just the bottom line. Just start doing them. We can sit and beat ourselves up because we didn't do it, but what does that solve? What what does that accomplish? So while I know I need to do it, now I'm going to seek the opportunities to actually do it to show that living gratitude, to to be an example to them, and show them, hey, I appreciate you. So I'm bringing you a meal. I appreciate you, so I'm going to come and do this. You know, and, 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 and while I go down to my mom's house and clean out her gutters, she got to call me to do it. You know, she got to call me, hey, when can you come and clean my gutters? Instead of me saying, hey, do you need your gutters clean? You no, know, th those are the kind of things that we're talking about that we can step in and, and, and do without them having to ask. Yeah, and so we well, just got to live it, you know. My dad got sick a little while back, and... Um... When he, he got home from the hospital, the thing that was bugging him the most is that the grass wasn't cut. He couldn't sleep right. He couldn't right. rest. Like, I hadn't cut my parents' yard. Me and my dad were doing the math in 20 years. 20 years. 20 years I hadn't offered to cut my parents' grass. Like, really? Yeah. In my mind, it was just always something he wanted to do. And he does enjoy doing it, but what about the times where he wanted to do it, but he just physically can't? Why wasn't I offering him before right. then? You know, just... You don't think about it until you get put in a situation sometimes where it could be different. Yeah. So just take advantage of, of those things now. Then you won't have regrets later on. Mm -hmm. you know, so we just got to live that gratitude. And we need to realize that gratitude is not seasonal. Right. Right now, it's Thanksgiving. It's yeah. Christmas. Yeah, you got to be thankful. Yes. You know. And it's easy for us to see it. It's easy for us to think about it. It's easy for us to remember it. But... Being thankful, being grateful is not seasonal. Mm -mm, not at all. Make it a everyday part of our lives just to say thank you. You know, every day, every day we wake up and, and as a minister, we, we, we preach and we teach, tell God thank you every day. And we should because he has blessed us. He has clothed us in our right mind. He has given us the strength to be alive and, and to live each day. And we should tell God thank you every day. And at the same time, we should tell others thank you too because they've done something to bless our lives. The, the smallest thing. And and one part I just thought about this. You know, when you ride down the street and it's hard for you to get in and somebody lets you in, tell them thank you. You know how you do it. Throw their hand up. That's a sign of gratitude. Hey, thank you for letting me in. And don't you know, I get mad when people don't throw their hand up when I let them in because they ain't telling me thank you. You know, they, but they, 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 I'm just saying People bless us every day, mm -hmm. but how often do we just simply say thank you, you know? And 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 I meant to bring this up in the other one, but I meant to tell you thank you for dressing me. I I got a I got a a a, a, a problem with with dressing, you know, look against stuff that's age appropriate for me, <laughs> you know. But but my wife she she takes care of me, you know. She'll dress me, you know. And and if you and if you see me on Sunday, you know, I be I be be, be dapper now, you know, quite dapper, you know. That that's that's her. She picks out my suits for me. Yeah, Sometimes she does. Got a coconut, like, yeah. That I'm working on phasing yeah. out. But I'm just saying, and I, and I tell her thank you, you know, <laughs> seriously. So don't 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 make it a a once or twice a year or once or twice a month. Try to make it a habit of every day saying thank you for something to somebody else. So, before we end this broadcast, we're going to take a little time to thank some people here. All right? 
So I want to thank my co-workers first um, for their support um, at a new school this year and helping me and teaching me the ropes. I appreciate you, even if I have not said that enough, because, you know, I do. I truly appreciate you. I appreciate my parents for your life lessons. I appreciate you for what you do for my babies and how much you love us. And I appreciate my sisters uh, just for teaching me so much and being an inspiration for me. I love you guys with all my heart. Um, I'm thankful for my extended family, for all that you all do with our babies, for our babies, and how much you love them and take such great care of them for us. Um, it does not go unnoticed, but again, the words and the actions haven't been there to show that gratitude, and we thank you. Um, I thank my church family for having such open arms and such loving hearts. We love you forever, <laughs> Church of Christ. We do. Right. We do. So much. And my babies for loving mommy so much and for working so hard, even though they're like kittens sometimes. Mm -hmm. yep. And I'm an introvert, so all yeah. that gets a bit much, but I know they do it because they love me and I appreciate it. And the love of my life. <laughs> I there aren't enough <laughs> words to express my gratitude to this man right here. I I honestly I know no words. I love you so much and I appreciate I you, you so much. Thank you. I feel the same way, babe. Mm. Same way. Yeah. And so basically all the people she said. <laughs> I mean, honestly, we, we thank you, uh my coworkers. I, um, y'all might think I'm like, I love my job. And one of the reasons I love my job is because of the people I work with. Um, you know, being able to go in and laugh and trip out and, and get our job done, you know, um, parents, um, extended family, you know, all of, all of us, you said to the Central Avenue Church of Christ, we love you guys. And, you know, it's just been a blessing and mm -hmm. we don't know if we said enough, but we, we just say thank you to, to everybody that's, that's helped us. To those of you that'll be watching this broadcast, that's going to put us up there, you know, start liking and sharing, you know, once we get big, you know, make them million, you know, we throw y'all a little something and out then. But we just gonna say thank you for now, because that's all we can give you at this time, you know, it's a thank you. And even if we didn't call you by name, there are so many people that have been so instrumental to us, and no, it's not a slight, it's just a, a mind thing, but we're working on it. Yeah. And we love you, and we appreciate you. Thank you all so much for allowing us into your lives, sharing it with us and experiencing this with us, supporting us, and it's it's a blessing, and we appreciate you. Yeah, we really do. But we we're, we're gonna be back a lot sooner. <laughs> yeah, a lot sooner. We back. We we gonna get back on the horse. You know, we are gonna get back on the horse and 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 ride it on out. So, <laughs> but we we appreciate you guys, and and again, thank you. And as always, we're your favorite couple, the Hubbards, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye, guys. See you then. Have a happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Bye.